Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 70th annual performance of Musical Moods, presented by the Music Department of Grand Rapids Community College. Tonight's performance will be in the format of a collage, allowing our students and faculty to segue from one ensemble or soloist to another with limited interruption or movement. This evening, we are honored to work in collaboration with one of our fine alumna, performer and composer John Arndt. Two of John's compositions will be featured as he collaborates with the jazz ensemble, the orchestra, and Shades of Blue. We are also pleased to unveil a new video presentation created specifically for this evening's performance by our Media Services Department. There will be three video segments, one at the beginning of the performance, the second after the intermission, and third near the end of the program. This evening's performance is being recorded. Please silence your cell phones and refrain from using flash photography. At this time, please join together in a moment of silence to honor those whose lives were lost in the Parkland, Florida school shooting. You know, traditions at a community college are so important. One of those traditions is musical moods. This year we celebrate 70 years. 70 years of a unique collaboration of students and faculty that culminates in a really cool way on one night and a special night known as musical moods. Albert P. Smith, who was the original department head, program director, division chair for music, performing arts. He was a graduate of the U of M, and he had experienced a similar type of collage concert at the University of Michigan, and he brought it to Grand Rapids Community College. 1950 to 1952, when I was a, a student here, I was in the music department, and uh, at that time, Musical Moods was in the girls' gymnasium, which is where the music building is right today. I was a student here from 59 until 62. Compared to today, oh, I guess you'd call it Stone Age. I was downright thrilled at the, at the sound that came from all of these people. And it was a great community event, people from all over the city uh, schools, adults uh, came uh, to hear it. This event that brings together so many different people, so many different styles of music, so many different communities, it just makes that community stronger. It also makes that institution stronger as well. All the musical moods for me, I think I was in two of them, was an opportunity for me to do something that I never thought I really would do, and that would be a performer, which that's where I am at today. When I see an alum of this program that have participated in musical moods, that's uh, one of the things that they talk about as they matriculated through life and, and found their various stations in life. They never forget musical moods. They never forget Grand Rapids Community College.
When you're on the street, my lord When evening falls so hard I will comfort you
Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, a time, a once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, once upon a time, upon a time, upon a time, a time upon a time, upon a time upon a world, 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 world. Once upon a time, a time, upon a time, a time upon a time, a time, a once upon a time, the world was round. And you, and it, and you could go on it. You could go, you could go, and you could go on it, and you could go on it. You could go and you, and it, and you and it. You could go and you could go on it. And round, you, and it, you, round, you, you could go you on it, it, and it, it, you it, you it, you could go on it, it, and you could go on it, around and around and around, 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 and the cut. In the once upon a time, in the time, in the cut, once upon a cut, in the cut, in the cut, once upon a time, in the cut, upon a time, cut, upon a time, in the round, in the cut, round, you wit, 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 it you with you wit, you wit, you wit, it you with you wit, you wit, it it once upon a time. The world was round and you and it and you could go on it. You could go, round, you could go, round, you could go, you could go, the world you could go, you could go, you could go, you could go, and a cut round in a round and a cut 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 and a cut
After Smitty retired, Lynn Asper took over as the head of the music department. And then, of course, you know, the musical moods kind of took on his vision. As moods evolved, it was totally a student-run show. For students, it was a terrific opportunity. I don't have any doubt there will be a Moods 100. There, there just will. My first experience with it was I was hoping to see some pianists, and I decided that that would be a really nice opportunity to have the piano students have something to work towards. From then on, there were always pianists on the program, and I really thought that was a marvelous opportunity for them to plan the kind of repertoire that might do well in that kind of setting. I was looking at some of the videos this week of the students, and it was it was really fun to listen to them. And I, I have to say, I was really proud of the groups and to remember the students and think about where they are now and how much they've accomplished. The opportunity to perform, you know, I mean, you need that. That's the only way that you're going to improve and, and learn how to be a professional is through that experience. One of my favorite memories was performing with Ron Patrick. We ended up creating a duet, uh, a piano piece that we composed together. One of my fondest memories of moods. The last moods that I conducted in 2011, a very special moment for me. My daughter, she did audition on a very interesting fast movement of an unaccompanied Hindemith cello sonata and she was chosen to perform. It was a nice treat for me to have her perform at that last, my last moods. We get so involved in our own area of, of music when we're teaching that we don't um, necessarily get to enjoy other people's work. The, the amount of talent that you see at one time uh, is, just, is just amazing. It was always a thrill. Explain it, who 
can tell you why fools give you reasons wise men never try some enchanted evening when you find your true You can 
No excuses I have only one You have your daddy's hands Forgive me You are your daddy's son
the clear blue sky one fine day. Love came as a dulcet tone, humming up above suspended to one who'd been so much alone. It said your doldrum blues are ended, petals of red roses red, strewn along the path to guide me, the breath of spring had filled the air, I had my love of loves, beside me. It was I who heard the song, running drunk on love's expectant wine. Wine to sunflower of the moon, the whole universe was Close your eyes, it's okay, just take it day by day, the spark will relight, your fire will blaze in time. It's okay to feel fear, your wounds will heal in time, just give yourself that time. to me create yourself a warm 
pink cloud and you'll find peace little did you know after all this time there was always room for you
was kind of a Dwayne Davis design by the time I was here in 91. And then when Dwayne retired, uh, I ended up taking over the design of the show, but worked very collaboratively with the other directors of the ensembles. I was a part of Moods 50, and Moods 50 was the change of my life. Uh, actually, it's the, the one that I use when I teach my students uh, about not being afraid. Uh, it was the turning point for me. Both beauty and hidden chaos going on, and hopefully the audience uh, never sees or understands the chaos that really happens and the amount of work that happens prior to that. As a band director now, um, uh, it's kind of what I live on a daily basis. Because my dad was on faculty and had been going to Moods even before I was a student, that made it even more special. The biggest concert of the year, that's when the best and the brightest and the best performances were put together. The community, uh, not just the internal community, but the external community, had uh, grown to love uh, the performance. You see the talent um, that is uh, not only brought here, but uh, enhanced. The first time I went to one of these performances, uh, I was stunned. What a great gift these students give to us in the community uh, when they can move us in those ways. One of the oldest traditions here at the college, and I'm so proud to be, have been a part of it for so many years. There's something about traditions that give a sense of longevity, a sense of history. To be almost 70 years, I cannot believe that. Musical Moods, Grand Rapids Community College, they're synonymous. I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to meet Smitty, interact with him. We had his legacy, and I continue to protect that legacy. I think it's very, very important to me. And I, I get very emotional when I talk about Smitty because uh, he was a wonderful musician, a dear man, and truly had our students' best interest at, at heart. I feel that it's very important for our students to understand the legacy, the power that this collage concert has. For me to be a part of that history, I really am happy. Something that's really important to the community.
name uh, is John Arndt. I'm a 2008 graduate of Grand Rapids Community College. And I can honestly say that this institution changed my life. I will never forget walking into the music building as a 19-year-old who was pretty sure he had the answers to all of the most important questions in life. And needless to say, it didn't take very long before I began questioning those notions. And this wasn't a deconstruction just for destruction's sake. This was actually something that served to broaden and deepen my understanding of who I was, the traditions that I was granted, and its relationship to the world at large. It caused me to approach, to approach others uh, that maybe I didn't understand with more humility and curiosity, seeking to maybe learn something from them. And my experience at GRCC actually helped build my mission in my career and in my life as a musician, which is to bridge the gaps that we build between each other, reminding us that we're actually more alike than we are different. And music is a great tool for that. And it's in that spirit that we'd like to dedicate this last piece to the victims of the shooting in Parkland, Florida. And may we respond to violence in all its forms by listening to each other more generously than ever before. Seeking to understand each other, especially those that we may disagree with. And as a result, we may, may we grow together as a community, as a nation, and as a world. This is called World Keeps Spinning. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here this evening. And let's show our appreciation again to John Arndt for all the work that he put into with our students. Just a real quick thank you to all of our students and faculty members who participated in this year's Musical Moods performance. It's a late night. We thank you all for coming. Please drive safely. <laughs>